Though only Ukraine is at war with Russia at this point in time, its repercussions are being felt across the whole of the continent of Europe. Ever since Russia waged war against Ukraine, not only Ukraine but the whole of Europe has faced its wrath. From blankets to generators to weapons, European countries have been funneling aids to crisis-ridden Ukraine without realizing that they are fueling a catastrophe on the continent. In a bid to help Kiev, the European countries have exhausted their own potential and now they find themselves left tapped out of weaponry. However, only France is consistently held off on funding the war because of concerns about its nation's resources. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Atul Mishra. Let's begin. Unlike other European countries who have been fueling the war by pouring all sorts of aid into Ukraine, France has stayed firm on its stance. France has been repeatedly accused of not providing enough security assistance to Kiev as the country has always prioritized its national interests over anything else. If the figures provided by Kiel Institute for the World Economy are to be believed, Paris ranks eighth in military assistance far behind the US, the UK, Germany and Poland having committed 220 million euros. Germany has sent weapons and millions in financial aid to Ukraine. Just recently, a fresh shipment of weaponry, packets of winter clothes and military gear were delivered to Ukraine by Germany. Moreover, the transfer of IRST SLM air defense system transfer has also received official confirmation. Unlike countries like Germany, which to the line of the White House in supporting Ukraine, France has always gone all out against the US, while the other European countries are busy taking orders from the White House. France has said no to any further aid to fuel the war in crisis ridden Ukraine. Recently, France unofficially admitted that it is unable to provide Ukraine with more weapons due to dwindling stocks. According to Politico, off the record, the French admit they can't give more weapons to Ukraine due to the state of their own supplies, the outlet said in its Brussels playbook briefing on Thursday. It added that Paris hopes to make up for it with civilian aid. It does so amid rumors that the majority of NATO nations have exhausted their supply of arms to send to Ukraine. According to the article, France is attempting to put together a conference for Ukrainian resilience this month as part of its effort to make up for the absence of military aid. The New York Times claimed last month that some smaller NATO nations had exhausted their potential to provide military aid to Ukraine, with at least 20 of the organization's 30 members appearing to be quite tapped up. Only bigger friends such as France, Germany and Italy, the journal claimed at the time, could sustain or boost arms shipments. It's not that France never supported Ukraine with aid, but when the end of the war in Ukraine seems like a cold day in July, French President Emmanuel Macron has decided to prioritize the country's national interests again. France knows that funneling aid to an unending war will do no good to the country, its people and the continent. Evidently, the economy and the industries of the country that came out to help Ukraine are now grappling with an economic catastrophe. The economy is struggling with declining growth, increasing inflation and an impending recession. Certainly, France did not want to be a part of that list and thus decided not to side with the West.